Okay, well, today marks the first day of Kwanzaa, a seven day celebration of African culture. Unlike many other winter holidays, Kwanzaa isn't tied to any single religion. Each of the seven days of Kwanzaa is each associated with one of seven specific principles, including unity, self-determination, purpose, creativity, and faith. And those celebrations are already underway here in Cincinnati. And right now, today, I'm joined by David Shabazz, a member of the Cincinnati Citywide Kwanzaa Committee. And David, Thanks so much for joining us here today. I know you guys are already getting started. Yes, ma'am. Thanks are, for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Now, before we talk about tonight's event, tell us about how you got involved with the Cincinnati Kwanzaa Committee. Well, uh, I'm really a member of Cincinnati Pan-African Coalition, and mm -hmm. we work in conjunction with uh, Citywide Kwanzaa Committee to uh, put on things, all things pertaining uh, pertaining to Kwanzaa. Okay. So yeah. So tell us more about for people that don't know about Kwanzaa, how it's celebrated, and what you should really get out of celebrating Kwanzaa. Okay. Well, I'll start with the uh, mission statement from uh, Dr. Maulana Karenga. The mission statement for Kwanzaa, he said, was to know our past and to honor it, mm -hmm. to engage our present and to improve it, and to imagine a good future and forge it. So that's what Kwanzaa essentially is all about. And each day, I mean, as you just as you just stated, it is a uh, veneration or an observance of certain principles that will uh, improve our present and forge a good future for us. Mm. And so Kwanzaa is celebrated not only nationwide, but really around the world. Around the world, yes ma'am. And so people can get involved tonight by going to your event, which has already kicked off, but they mm -hmm. still have time. Tell us about tonight's event and what people can expect if they want to attend. Well, okay, so tonight's event is the Umoja Festival, mm -hmm. all right? Umoja is the Kiswahili word uh, for unity. Today is the first day of Kwanzaa, so we start out with uh, unity. You got to get everybody else together first, so you can then uh, engage with the rest of the uh, with the rest of the principles. But uh, at the Umoja Festival, we have uh, stilt walkers there. Mm -hmm. We have uh, different vendors there. There's going to be food there. Plenty of activities for children. Uh, just all different engaging type of activities. You know, just to bring the family around. And while it kicks off today, there is still plenty of time to celebrate. How can people celebrate Kwanzaa for the next seven days? Well, um, Kwanzaa is a community-oriented holiday, mm -hmm. but you can also do it domestically within the confines of your, uh, of your own home. Um, if you have a uh, Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa table, you have the, um, the what's called the Kenara, the uh, seven candle holder, uh, you got ears of corn that represent the children, and you have fruit that represent the uh, the fruits of your labor, and d different elements uh, such as that. Um, but uh, as long as you are observing it in your way as best you can in your own capacity, because I understand certain people have work schedules and they may not be able to uh, attend with mm -hmm. the rest of the community. But as long as Kwanzaa is in your heart and in your soul, you know you'll be good to go. That's called solidarity. When I can't be there, mm -hmm. but I'm there in spirit, that's called solidarity. Well, there you go, and you can celebrate personally, at home, at work, wherever you are, and everyone is welcome. You know, as we said earlier, it's not tied to a certain religion, so you guys welcome everyone to celebrate and get involved in, in the participation of Kwanzaa. Yeah, a absolutely, and that's, and that's one of the things that I, that I want to dispel, because uh, some people, they uh, do, do to their strong religious convictions, mm -hmm. um, the seven candles kind of remind them of the candles from Hanukkah, mm -hmm. which is a religious holiday. But no, this is a community oriented holiday. Mm -hmm. This is for everybody. We don't discourage anybody to get away from their uh, own, um, you know, religious mm -hmm. practices or, or holidays. Uh, however, Dr. Maulana Karenga, he did originally develop Kwanzaa as an alternative to Christmas because black nationalists at the time, they wasn't big on religion. It was like, nah, we want to do something else. But uh, no, that, um, that's up to the individual. You know, uh, like I said, it's not a uh, knock to anyone else's, you know, religious convictions or holidays. You know, it's for the community. Yeah, it's about community. David Shabazz, thanks so much for joining us here today. And again, the second annual Umoja Festival kicked off about an hour ago at 3.30, but it does go until 8 o'clock, so you still have time to get out there. It's happening at the Woodlawn Recreation Center. Face paintings, arts and crafts, performances, fashion workshops, gifts and giveaways, and also getting involved in the celebration of community with the celebration of Kwanzaa. All right, thanks so much for joining us. All right, thanks for having me. All right, and now Let's turn to uh, meteorologist Adam Burniston with a look at our forecast, Adam.